farming, man's oldest profession. It seems to bring all men to a common frontier. Today, that frontier is the challenge of cost-conscious agricultural production. This challenge need not be met alone. It becomes a matter of recognizing what has to be done. That time has arrived, and the means are at hand. From Case Engineering, the most intelligent tractor you have ever driven. Intelligence that will keep you in touch with your tractor by opening lines of communication. Intelligence that will increase your operating efficiency by balancing the opposing forces of tractor performance and fuel consumption. Intelligence with memory and logic that will help you in your selection of ground speed, implement width, and wheel slip to maximize the area covered per hour the most cost-effective way. And it's all at your fingertips in the Intelligence Center. You can appreciate what it takes to create something with both memory, logic, understanding, and empathy for your problem. This is what the tractor with intelligence is all about. And here's what it can do for you. It keeps track of the number of acres you have covered and the elapsed time it took to cover them, as well as how many acres you are covering each hour. Think of how cost-effective that will be when applying fertilizer or chemicals. Yes, it's that accurate. The Intelligence Center is customized to your model Case 94 series tractor the minute it's plugged in. It knows the RPM range the tractor was designed for, whether it can have a 540 or 1000 RPM PTO or both. Only Case helps you meet the challenge of today's rising production costs with tomorrow's technology. The best part about this Intelligence Center is that it's operator friendly and easier to use than your digital watch. The instrument cluster has seven function buttons and five program buttons. Let's start with the engine RPM function button. You press your finger to the engine RPM button and it will let you know it received your command with a beep. Then the display will give you the RPM message and the engine speed. As you move the throttle back and forth, the display will indicate the changing engine speed. If the engine speed is increased beyond 2500 RPM, the display will freeze and the RPM message will flash. All the push buttons will also become inoperative until you reduce the engine speed. The push button that displays the PTO RPM function is located just below the engine RPM button. Pushing the button displays the PTO RPM. Holding the button for three seconds causes the display to alternate between the 1000 and 540 RPM mode selections. Releasing the button will cause the display to indicate the actual PTO RPM based on engine speed. Depressing the timer function button will indicate the elapsed time the timer has been running. The digits to the left indicate hours, and the digits to the right indicate minutes. You can start and stop the timer with the start-stop button just below the timer button. Great for timing how long it takes to make a round, or to cover an acre in the field, or figuring out approximate fuel consumption. There are 12 bars on the fuel level indicator. The center bars, 6, 7, and 8, will be the most accurate place to check how much time you have left to work on the fuel left in the tank. Each bar, six, seven, and eight, represent about six gallons of fuel. To reset the timer, hold the button for three seconds. If you start your timer when one bar disappears and stop it when the next bar disappears, it will tell you about how much fuel you are using. It is by no means laboratory accurate but it will give you some idea if you can make it until noon or quitting time. The ground speed function will probably turn out to be one of the most valuable business tools in your operation, next to your calculator or your personal computer. That's why we have designed three different ways you can measure ground speed. One way is by programming in the static loaded radius from the tire charts in your manual. 
All you do is hold down the tire size button, select the first digit, and start programming in the code numbers for your tire size. Or, if you want to get a little more accurate, you can measure the actual loaded radius of your tire. And then, program the code from your manual. But maybe you figure with a high technology machine like this, you should only have to push a few buttons. We feel you have a right to figure that way. And here is the third way you program this intelligent tractor to do just that. Dynamically calibrate your tractor tires for ground speed. Case, the only tractor on the market that can do it. How? Just measure a straight line course of 200 feet. Simultaneously push both the tire size program button and the start stop program button. The display will indicate whatever calibration number you have entered previously. Now, start driving the tractor toward the pre-measured course starting mark with the implement out of the ground so you can calibrate your tractor ground speed under a no-slip condition. Then, push and hold the start-stop program button. The display will reset to zero. As you pass the start mark, release the start-stop button and the display will start to accumulate. As you pass the finish mark, Press the button again. The dynamic calibration of your tire size is now complete. You are ready to start reading out ground speed anytime you want to. Once you teach your intelligent tractor all about its tire size information, it will remember it forever if you want it to. Even if you turn the key off and don't start the tractor again until spring, that's right. The intelligence of this machine will commit your customized tire and load information to memory until you want to change it. And you can do that too. If you want to update the tire information to compensate for tire wear or lighter or heavier loads, just reprogram it. Nobody else can do this but Case. We have shown you how to calibrate your tractor to figure out accurate ground speed and it's all standard equipment on case over 100 horsepower tractors. You program attachment width just like you do tire size. You push and hold the attachment width button and using the select digit button and the set digit button you program in your implement width one digit at a time. If you are working with a 26 foot implement for example and you are overlapping you will be more accurate if you program in your implement a little narrower. Let's use two feet as an example. This would make the implement width 24 feet. Your acres per hour and area done will be more accurate if you can program in the actual width covered. Some more intelligent engineering features that will help you keep in touch with your business are the area per hour function and the area done function. The area per hour function displays the area covered each hour based on the tire size and attachment width that are programmed into the intelligence center. The area or acres per hour function is proportional to the ground speed. When you are stopped, it is at zero. When you are moving, it displays the acres you will cover. The area done function button is an accumulation of acres you have covered during any given time. You have to have the tire size and attachment width programmed into the intelligence center before the data will accumulate accurate information on the area done display. To reset the area done, hold the button for three seconds. Oh, and another thing, you can read this all out in hectares and meters by just flipping a switch. But what about jobs like incorporating fertilizer or herbicide in with a disc or field cultivator? The tillage tools pull hard through the ground, which increases the tractor's drawbar pull. This means wheel slippage, one of the most controversial subjects in farming today. The reason wheel slip is controversial is that there has not been a convenient method of measuring wheel slip. Now it can be measured. The tractor must be equipped with the true ground speed sensor, or when the wheel slip button is pushed, 